Yolanda, Yolanda, Yolanda. <laughs> You're like my darling. How are you? Darling, Welcome to you Mama. are my darling. Thank you so much. How are you doing? How's it? We need to know. What's the goss? How's it been since you've been here? What's been happening? It's been really good. I'm I'm enjoying a lot being here. I'm I'm sad because the days are passing so fast. I know, right? right. We were together like what a month ago i think it was a month ago but it feels like last weekend exactly the time is passing really fast i'm already crying and i'm super happy to be here so thank you guys for having me but that's the thing it's been nice to watch you kind of enjoy this journey and i always say to people don't get stressed enjoy it have fun because it's over before you know it and then it's like just a story that you can tell but you're you look like you're really enjoying this experience i am and i actually thought about that while coming here because obviously i think everybody knows that i'm afraid of planes i'm very afraid of planes i was because i got into the plane we talked about that Mm. um but i had an extra little help uh uh, and I could manage the the trip and it was really cool because I think I don't know I'm just happy that I'm overcoming some stuff it's really cool yeah well we're always happy to see you and we're gonna do something sp- there's a bit of a tradition now when I do an interview with a yeah. Portuguese artist because you may have seen last year I got <laughs> Mimi catted up uh, to support Mimi cat I yeah. got my I got my makeup done but you have the most amazing nails every <laughs> time I see you look at these today but these ones are press on don't tell anybody to that camera but there are press ons. Don't tell anybody. Uh, Just pretend they're real. We're pretending they're real. We're pretending they're real. We're just a little scratch. They feel real, guys. They feel real. But we're going to do my nails today, yes. aren't we? I don't have these ones for you because I only brought a pack. But I will do an art. Is that yeah, cool? yeah, no. I want to see what Yolanda's art looks like. And while you're doing that, we will get to know each other uh, a little bit better. So tell me, first of all, what I've never had my nails done before. Okay. So I, I don't know how this process works. So um, I don't have my full set here. I could do your cuticles. I could do your hydration. But I'm not going to do that because... It would take I, too long. Yeah, it would take too long. But I will give you a full set of steps so you can do. So first, you would hydrate your hands, wash your hands. I did wash all. my hands specially before I came, actually. Period. I always wash them. But <laughs> I wash them specially before we came. Then you... <laughs> I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, then you would wash your hands. We would do your cuticles. Okay. And you only put cream on your hands after you get the nails done. Because otherwise, it would be just like too smooshy. Okay. To lift, you know? Yeah. We're using black polish yeah. just because this was the one I couldn't find. Yeah, and I think that's quite good for, uh, for boys. And it matches the uh, Yolanda cap yeah. that we're done in as well. Which has the Portuguese little flag uh, in the back. And then um, I found this nailed lacquer, which is a finisher. So we're going to do a full black set with uh, a oh, finisher. I'm probably getting my nails done. Yeah. Let's go for it. Let's start. And while we're doing that, I would love to and you know. You should shake this before you do. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm getting a proper tutorial here, guys. <laughs> um, so uh, while we're uh, while we're starting with the black, I would love to know, like, what's mm. uh, what was little Yolanda like? What was Yolanda like as a little child? Yolanda. Little Yolanda was um, a girl that liked to play football, uh, and she was oh my god. I feel like I'm going to paint your finger. There's no pressure here. There's no pressure. Um, She liked to play football. She enjoyed the beach. um, And she grew up being uh, just a really happy child. Yeah, just very, very emotional. I would cry a lot. I cry. I still cry a lot. All children Um, cry. I know, but I still, I'm not a a child and I still cry, you know, like with everything. Even when I go to pay my groceries, if the. I cry when they say, oh, thank you so much. And sometimes I get nostalgic, don't ask me. I'm just like. (laughs) That is too much. (laughs) That is too much. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I was happy. I was a happy child. Very, how do you say, hyperactive. I was very hyperactive. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Very much. And what um like what were your favourite subjects at school? Were you I, I'm imagine I'm gonna guess artistic okay. rather yeah. than like science. Uh, oh sorry, um, my favourite subjects would be actually physical education. I love to run. I love to obviously I said it a hundred times to play football. Um, I'm glad you're not saying soccer like you were in uh, like you were when we spoke to you in Madrid. You said soccer. Oh, was it How me that said yeah. soccer? Okay, okay. How was that back in your, your in your hometown? I couldn't show my face for a little <laughs> while. But, um, but uh, I used to um, like geography, okay, history, okay. and Portuguese. Um, Geography's good for someone that doesn't like to fly. 
exactly. And um, music. I was going uh, yeah. to ask, like, when when did the music? When did we switch football for music. Uh, for music? When um, did you know you had this insanely amazing, powerful voice? Because you have. <laughs> so basically, I think I started singing when I was like eight, nine. I went to this TV, not TV, I, before that, I went to a contest at my school uh, and we, well, I just sang a song and then we, me and another team that won, we went to this kayak journey. Uh, it was the prize. Like to oh, okay. get down the river. I don't know exactly how you say that, but like get down the river in a kayak. like. Um, and, and then after that contest, I think it got really in my head that I, that I liked to do, uh, that I liked to sing before even making music and then when I go to my 10th grade which is when I'm 15 I don't know exactly how, how do you say that in English but I started writing my songs poems poems verses and yeah and it just went from there and now we are here crazy so we were writing lyri lyrics but maybe yeah. not the music or? I think I was writing verses uh, and then I've started to play the guitar around like my 18th birthday maybe my, my father got me a, a, my first guitar and I just started learning by myself because I used to play other instruments but I was too bored I don't know I just couldn't keep focus uh, only when I was singing so I had to find something uh, that I could you know like play and sing at the same time apart from the piano because I did study piano and it is very um, it is, it is, it, it's not difficult to play it, but I guess it, it lacks, like I lack a lot of, uh, uh, how do you say, like um, when you have to coordinate, coordination. Yeah, that's oh, the word. Oh, me too, me too. I was lacking the coordination at the time, so I got bored and then I got sad and I just quit the piano. Um, so I kept with the guitar from like my 18th birthday until today. I don't play that much because of this of the gorgeous nails yeah. of which I'm uh, halfway there already it looks yeah like. with another hand. do you know what I can imagine you playing is the drums the drums really yeah I could see Maybe. you like getting rid of a lot of energy on the drums I think okay now you have to do this thank you so much um maybe I never I've played like you know like normal rhythms basic five-year-old rhythms uh but maybe I could try or the bass I would like the bass or the counter bass oh wow okay you know like the the vibe like boom 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 I think it's really cool. So, do you mind me uh, asking what star sign you are? What do you think I am? This is so cliche of, I don't, of I, me asking. What no, do you think I am? I'm not very good with star sign. Okay. I know what I am. I don't think you're the same as me because I'm a cancer. Mm -hmm. So I'm. Uh, but you seem like you seem really. I've dated calm. a cancer. Have you? Yeah. Can I've, I've heard a lot about cancers. They're meant to be really handsome. Handsome. Yeah. Smell uh, good. Beautiful smell eyes. Good, good sense of humor. Stubborn. Well, kind <laughs> of. They don't like to get hurt. We don't like to get hurt. Right? So I'm a... Uh, I'm going to say, like, uh, what's the, the weight, the scale one, like the balanced one? Like, is that Libra? I'm not Libra. Oh, you're not Libra? No. Have you got a fiery temper? You're Scorpio. Yes, I'm a Scorpio. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio. Ah, so you have that little fiery side then as yeah. well. I think Scorpio I think I have, have a, a lot side. of things in... Um, um, Scorpio, so like the moon and like a lot of the houses, they fall in uh, in Scorpio, which is kind of <laughs> crazy sometimes. Okay, it's okay. good, but it's crazy sometimes. On okay. the other hand, change the mic. So we, I'm so going to have to ask you to not do the middle finger, yes, cause because guys, if you remember, hard. I had a poorly finger, yeah. so we're gonna we're gonna miss uh, we're gonna miss the middle finger. Just I'm loving my nails one. already. They're full black. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. I, I wear a lot of black, so it you goes know, I'm not smooth. an artist. I would love to be, but an artist and a nail artist. Sometimes I forget I sing, you know. It could be, could be a new talent. There may be someone watching with a... Well, I don't think Imagine, you're ever going to need... Hire me. I don't think you're ever going to need a job. I will do your salon. nails for 10 euros and a decaf. No, she'll be too famous by then. She'll be... Uh, uh, well, Look, you're I'm already shaking. becoming a huge star. Um, so when we're kind of like in the... I don't know how old you are. I'm not going to ask because my mum taught me... Never ask a lady her <coughs> age. Um, but I was going to say early 20. I don't know. Early 20s. Is it early 20s? But no, I am 29. No way. Yeah. Are you 29? So what were the early 20s like? Kind of your land um, becoming, becoming a, a I was a lady. very, very naughty in terms of like, you know when you are in that phase where you go out a lot. I actually, I started working during um, the night hours in bars and pubs just like serving drinks because I wanted to get my own money. Um, and then I think... 
back then when I was at in Lisbon, I worked in different bars and restaurants. Um, so I got a, a lot of the nightlife and then I got bored of it. So I don't exactly went out that much. I think I've started w going out around like my 16th birthday. Okay, so I'm like going okay. in little parties in my, back in my village. Is that legal in Portugal? It's just back in my village. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Typical Portuguese, like, little parties. Um, Non-alcoholic drinks, obviously. Of course. Uh, I'm not joking. I, no, like, no, I, I know. I believe it's, you. It's true. Um, but, but yeah, just, I just, I don't know, I just started um, going out early. And, like, and then I, I thought, okay, I can, I can work here when I was 18, back in Lisbon. So I started working. So I was, you know, like a worker, full-time student. I studied um, communication sciences uh, for my first degree. And then, what did I do more? I went to the jazz uh, jazz school back in Portugal to study vocals, um, and that was about it. And then I just moved around Lisbon because I just like to move houses. So, and Lisbon is an amazing yeah. city. I've been fortunate to spend yes. uh, various different trips in Lisbon, and it's a beautiful city with amazing it people is. as well. It's really cool. I miss it already. So you're not based there now? No, I am. I am. Li I'm living in the center of Lisbon. It's really cool. Um, now it's a in bit Yolanda busy pad. in the Yolanda pad. The Yolanda pad. Yes. Now it's a bit busy, Lisbon. Um, but but I miss the food and I miss the light. Oh, well, food yeah. is something that I always love to talk about. So, what food do you miss particularly uh, mm, from Lisbon? So Where's many. your favourite spot to eat? Uh, we have a couple. I really like the area of Martin Muniz. You have like small little shops with uh, with a lot of uh, a lot of different cuisines. Uh, there's one typical Portuguese that I go like all the time, uh, especially because my creative director lives literally almost across the street, so we're always together having meetings and everything. Um, I don't know, like so many so many typical dishes, uh, bacalhau. Uh, I like you know like bitok. Have you heard about bitok? No. 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 It's it's kind of it's typical from Portugal, but you can get it in other countries, I think, right? Um, What's bitok? Beef. So you have like a, a, a steak. It can be cow or pig, and then you have like a little fried egg, potatoes, fried potatoes, rice, and salad if possible. Oh, or you can salad, maybe. you can have one of the carbohydrates if you are I love fancy. I love a carbohydrate yeah I love, I love them both mixed together <laughs> which is carb something very carb typical carb. it's something very typical I don't think there's any other country that does um, fried potatoes and rice at the same time oh I've heard yeah Do no, they? that sounds amazing are you a good cook eh. More no? or less. No, I'm not that, that good of a cook. I All don't right, have so the patience to do it. But I do uh, I do one or two dishes good. Like a pasta with bacon and cream, which is That's basic. Which is very <laughs> <laughs> which is very basic, I know. But that's my that's my cuisine. That's what I do. It's like a comfort food. Yeah. It sounds like a carbonara kind of. If it's like if you mix it together in a pan, I'm good to go. Okay, okay. You know? All right, so when I come to Lisbon I won't be eating at the Yolanda pad. No, but you can we'll be going out. We'll be ordering. Oh, you're ordering it in. Okay, okay. So I need to try this. Um, I'm going to call it bitok, which is not what you said at all, is it? Yeah, bitok. Oh, yeah, bitok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, we're done with the um, with the um, first um, layer. So, what's the next step? So the next step is to dry. Do I basically, let it dry. Again? Yeah, I was about to start interviewing you. I don't um, mind. <laughs> and then I just leave this to dry for a bit, so we can put the second layer, which is the finisher. I don't usually use this because I'm wearing all the time press-ons and I reuse them and reuse them and reuse them because of the waste. Guys, don't waste. Waste as like less as you can. Uh, I look like a, a, a seller from from this. Yeah, well, <laughs> go for it. And then you use a finisher to top coat the thing so it doesn't come off okay. that easy. You know, because if you are wearing just this and if you hit your hand in something, sometimes it can go a little bit of the the paint. And it's not going to come off because I'm going to. No. I feel very special because I've. But been you can you can use it up. like this. This is okay. Okay. This is like basic. This is just um, cherry on top. Okay. Well, we love a cherry yeah. on top. We have to let it drop just a little bit. So what about kind of um, how how did you find the journey from knowing that you wanted to be uh, a, a mm. singer, a performer? I imagine that journey is never easy. Uh, and there's a lot of work yeah. and a lot of knockbacks maybe mm. as well rejection sometimes yeah, how has that journey been for you it's been even even though i had rejections it's been great especially because uh for me 
all of the rejections they 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 mean that I am uh, growing you know what I mean I'm, I'm not mean, meant to be cliche but like every time you are rejected of something you think about what you did wrong or, or what they did wrong uh, because sometimes it's not only your um, your fault in, like with a lot of I don't know what's this called Ashpash? Think, um, How do you call this? Uh, quotation mark? No? Quotation mark? Quotation marks. Oh, yeah, that's I it. Because in Portuguese it's Ashpash. Ashbush. Ashbush. Yeah. Ashbush. Um, so basically, I think it's um, it's a matter of like recognizing what you did, learning to do better next. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and I think I think it's working. Yeah, it's, uh, it can be really tough, like having to change kind of your mm. mental attitude towards yes. rejection. Especially to not feel uh, like you are, like that it's your fault and it's such an expectation to, because obviously there's a lot of, uh, I think I've painted this first, right? Yeah. Uh, relax your hand. Can I also? just say this also smell? Am I meant to be uh, loving the fumes? You love the smell. Yeah. It's kind of weird. You love it, good? but I love it too. You know, like, oh. for example, gas. Oh, not ga- yeah, uh, like petrol, petrol gas. Yeah. yeah, and marker pens. I love it. Oh, me too. Market pens. Mm, I don't remember those. Marker pens like at school, you know, like they oh, use on the board. Yes, oh, yes. I, I remember those now. Uh, so, yeah, basically, you just need to lift your head and continue with your life. Because if you, I don't know, I didn't pass on the voice, for example. My life was fantastic. On, on that day, I was very sad. The day after, I was like, oh, I have another thing to do. This is not everything. So I guess it's the expectation you put on things. And I reckon you're one of those people that kind of believes in what the universe yes, uh, brings, brings to your door as and well. And I manifest a lot. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's something I need to learn to do, manifest, really? I think, yeah. It's literally just like you wake up and you say, today I'm going to have a good day. And yeah. sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Obviously it's not because you're saying that you're going to have a good day that you're going to have. But I guess it helps that if you like project it into the world, you'll be able to... At least work towards it. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm starting to become more thankful for what I have, mm-hmm. I find, as I get older. And I'm now a big believer in karma as well. Yes. And um, I do believe that karma will... Karma is a bee. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, and, I, and we all have so many opportunities for revenge or to do bad things to people. Yeah. And I, I always think, no, think exactly. it through, karma yeah, yeah. will come back. So Especially because whatever you wish to others it could uh, turn around hundred percent a hundred percent so I want to know about how um, festival da Cansao mm-hmm. and I'll try and say that in a Portuguese accent it's and perfect. I failed festival da Cansao yeah how did that come about because it was your first time it right? was my first time as a um, as a singer I had a little 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 participation in a song from two th- two years previously I think I think it was two years um, before I went with Blachi uh, she was in the national selection. I recognize um, the name. Yeah, she, she's now doing, I think, a project in English, I think. Um, but I did with her uh, just like a couple of, li- of lyrics, not not much. And then, uh, yeah, this was my first big time getting uh, into this full experience. Uh, and being able to be here is kind of crazy. Sometimes I have to like wake up and I'm in the hotel and I'm like, Oh, we are uh, at Eurovision. We are representing Portugal, and it's 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 super super cool, and I'm super grateful. Yeah. And you deserve to be here because you're such a talent, and you've got this beautiful, beautiful song. Was there any doubt in your mind before uh, about the kind song? Of, uh, not necessarily the song, but going through that process and putting yourself um, in a position where you know maybe you wouldn't win, or mm. I, I don't know. Did, was it like a yes, I'm going to do this, I know, or was there ever any doubt? I think I've never, there was a lot of odds and a lot of bad houses going on uh, and a lot of talk about who's going to win, who's going to lose, because obviously this is a competition, apart from the, apart from all of the, of the beauty of it, that is a lot. We are in a competition and we were in a competition and I tried to like to step aside from all the, the conversations and just do whatever I was uh, like meant to be doing on stage, uh, which is singing. Uh, and I did, and I had my dancers. I'm, I'm super, super happy with them. We are starting to be um, a big, big family here. So it's super, I don't know, it's just super, I'm, I think I'm saying super, super, super so much. Well, it's super. It's super. It's super. It's hectic. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm just super, again. 
Uh, I'm just happy that um, that yeah, I've been I've been able to be here and and that my I don't know my team is making me look like this all the time because obviously I don't wake up like this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just happy. Oh, and it's <laughs> so nice to see like what an impact it's had. It it kind of feels like. Does it feel like this is the next chapter in your life? Definitely, I feel like we're crossing like to a different, even a different life. It's crazy, especially coming from an independent artist. I was, I don't know, doing gigs for like tops, thousand people, two thousand people, let's say, uh, one or another festival. There were more, but now like this is being broadcasted for. I don't know how many, 2,000 million, no, 200 million maybe, 2,000 yeah. million is going <laughs> to... <laughs> That's like the whole world, love. Exactly, <laughs> like the whole world watching it. Uh, no, but like 200 million people is crazy and it's, um, obviously we don't see them at the arena, but we like, we dream about that, me and my team, and it's it's amazing how we are, like how we are living this and, and it's a memory for life. Yeah. If I have kids or, or grandkids, I, I will tell them all of this. Yeah, and you mentioned team as well. I mean, you've got such a, a great mm -hmm. team around yeah. you, not only from RTP, but also your dancers, mm -hmm. you know, people involved in your styling. We have to talk about the dancers because they're such a big part of this performance. Yes. And I know, uh, was that your idea to have the dancers um, telling the you story? For that? Yes. Yeah. Let's I remember. <laughs> I love this one that is not painted. Yeah, it's but better, this is, right? I was, You're uh, getting better. It feels better, yeah, but I'm just, the, the okay. nail is still a bit dodgy. But it's also uh, useful because it's also one of my most used fingers. Exactly, for, for <laughs> a lot of uh, situations. Um, my dancer. So basically, I, I didn't want to go on stage alone. So I talked um, and I wanted to have someone that could create, because for me this is a, a moment of creation. Like we can do so many things here. Uh, the possibilities, possibilities are endless. So I thought, okay, let's do, let's, let's like find someone that can help me with my, I don't know, my confusion in my head because I, I know that I have a lot of ideas but sometimes I can get confused. Even though when I'm speaking in, in, in English, like my brain is just, thinking so fast and my words don't uh, accompany it um, so basically I, I talked with Du which is my uh, creative director uh, and we just came up with the idea of having dancers because obviously I told him I didn't want to go by myself on stage because it I don't know I just wanted to have a little bit of a Beyonce moment you know I think I like I saw the window open and I was like okay this is my window I'm gonna go and with answers and with everything um, so so yeah I went uh, and talked with him and then we hired uh, Renato which is a choreographer and I think he did a choreography based on you know like we wanted to represent my feelings my my inner self my ghost my demons uh, and we thought how can we do this and still not feel weird because I'm not a dancer I'm not a ballerina uh, ballerina maybe it's not a word yeah uh, it's, it's, it's like a ballet dancer yeah, exactly. ballerina but is I'm, a not a, I'm not a because I call them my ballerinas because in Portuguese it's bailarino it's the okay, name okay. of dancer uh, so and I wanted to to have something that could represent me in um, in a true way, you know what I mean? Like not like something that I was forcing them to do, and and that could look forced. So so he did a choreography based on my movements when I am doing gigs, like normal gigs by myself. Oh wow! And that is okay. mental because I thought, how can you, I don't know, translate that and still make it look like obviously professional dance which my movements are So it's not. like you've been the mold for the choreography. Yeah, and it's crazy. Obviously, he added some movements, like extra movements, outside from my, my own moves. Uh, and it's been, it's been just, um, I don't know, just an amazing journey to be able to like be on stage with people that really dance, and I'm learning with them, obviously. I feel like I am like learning a couple of moves, which is cool. So yeah, that, that that idea came from literally collaboration and and honesty and working together, which is for me the trick to success. I have to, I mean... Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. No, I'm joking. Ah. <laughs> well, I have to say, like, I'm, I'm a terrible dancer. So uh, I, I'm not very good when I talk about choreography. But you but don't, I don't look think, like... like Anybody's a terrible dancer. I I'm bet a, you have good moves. I'm a really terrible What's dancer. What's your favorite song to dance to? People behind the camera can confirm. Uh, it's an 80s song, so I don't know if you'll know it or not. Do you know Billy Ocean? I know the name. I don't remember. There's the a song, song now. called um, uh, Get Out of My Dreams, Get Into My Car. Do you know that Ooh, one? And I've know, annoyed the lyrics. whole of Team Eurovox with that song every wow. morning because it's like my motivation song. Like it's something I, I play while I'm in Billy the shower. Oceans. 
Billy Ocean, yeah. Ocean, and I, one s- ocean. I sent you, a, I sent you a good like duet song as well. Do you remember? You did. You sent me the Aretha Franklin with George Michael. With George Michael. Yeah. yeah. We have, to, we have to perform that at karaoke. Yes, uh, we do. A karaoke is there a karaoke here in Mama? Oh, God, if there is, can we go? I would love to. Please, I would love to go. You're I done, love... by the way. Am I done? Yeah. What do you think, guys? Is it good? Sometimes I feel like... I'm it. liking it, but I just really want to go like this. <laughs> smell... <laughs> smell my nails, everyone. <laughs> I love it. I love the smell. Yeah, I, I love the look and I love, this and is very, I love uh, the how smell. How do you say it? A psychopath of us, like smelling nail polish. I know, but I, I totally get what, like anything like that. Gas, uh, like petrol, marker pens. And uh, uh, it's not phosphorus, but uh, matches. That's the word. Oh, but when they go out. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. candles. I don't know if you have, um, uh, in the UK, we have Christmas crackers at Christmas. That uh, you yeah, pull, I know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the smell, there's like something yeah. in it. it burns, I don't think we yeah. do have that in Portugal, do we? Oh, that's an amazing Maybe. smell as well. Maybe, let me know in the comments, because oh, I don't know. You like my, you like my, this is going to come Yolandi. That's going to be the hashtag, I've decided. <laughs> hashtag Yolandi. Yolandi. Yeah, yeah, I and we'll do, we will do a job. <laughs> Um, I mean, the performance, we will wrap it up shortly because uh, we've taken so much of your time. No, tonight. it's I'm fine. So I'm cool. I'm, I'm enjoying. Oh, Stay right. forever. Oh, <laughs> I might get you to sing at the end of this as well. <clears throat> but um, it's such a powerful performance and having the time, it just works. And we've seen Thank you. a little, I think like 15, 30 second clip 30 of your seconds. rehearsal. Yeah. And it looks insane. And you've done what we wanted, and you haven't changed too mm-hmm. much from the performance from uh, Festival we have of the Cancer. Slightly well. changes, uh, things that are coming obviously on your way. On the, I don't know if the 6th of May is showing, maybe. I'm not sure who, what's coming I think, out. I, I think sneaking. we will get to see a bit more on yeah. the 6th. We'll get to see the full uh, thing. We, we've changed just like the right amount to not m- like move the performance <laughs> out of its way. If you know what I mean? So kind of like we were happy with it. Why are we going to change it that much? Exactly. Um, because sometimes you can get like confused by the, the fact that it's a bigger stage. So you, you could, you know, just like do major changes and, and literally F up the, um, the, the song and, the, and the, um, the choreography and everything. So we just kept it like as it was adapted to the stage. So, yeah. And it's a crazy big stage as well. It's like, how did you feel when you first walked out there? Actually, I th- I, I have been dreaming with the stage for for a couple of days before like getting on that plane, uh, and I thought it was like unfinishable. I don't know if that's a word, but like non finish. I thought it would go and go and go and go, but it it was actually smaller than what I've dreamed of, which is amazing because I had like you know like one idea in my head it would be gigantic and it is gigantic but not as gigantic as i thought which and is really it's gonna cool. be crazy and it's very comfortable and then like the team is amazing everybody's like for you i i have a, a little uh girl little not not little but uh i think she's called carolina she served me water and she hold my cup and oh. i drank from the the straw so we I don't know like people are really really nice so thank you Eurovision team it's going to be insane when you go out there and you've got an audience as well because yes. that's getting to perform it live mm-hmm. to a, a non-Portuguese audience as well because obviously at, at yeah, FDC yeah, yeah. it's mostly Portuguese people I have to ask do you have Definitely. a trick for one do you get nervous when you go out on stage and two what is your trick to kind of get like some people say like imagine everyone naked but I've seen a Eurovision audience I'm not sure if you <laughs> want to imagine them all uh, naked but what's your trick to kind of calm yourself before you go out on stage uh, I think like the first five seconds for me are rough in terms of like that's when you know you have to be there strong and just like continue and do the best uh, and the first five seconds can. are just you singing as well yes, I don't add pressure kind of like, but exactly <laughs> not, not to pressure uh, and I thought about that when I went to do the acapella because we had instrumental on that part in the first uh, like uh, in the first uh, beginning of, of this moment that I'm living now but then we decided to uh, you know, like take that instrumental in the beginning and it just do a, a very, I don't know, epic and, and dramatic entrance and kind of like angelic at a at, at, at its certain way. Uh, so that's a weird and good moment, but weird in terms of like everybody's looking at me. I'm singing a cappella. If I uh, don't sing well, everybody will know and my career will be over, which is a lie because we are not made of just one moment.
exactly but this is going to be an amazing moment yes. on stage for you so much support we are going to have to wrap it up because i feel like this is the longest interview i've ever done really um yeah but i could talk to you for hours i feel like we need to go and find a karaoke bar somewhere though True. um but uh so much support not only back home people are so proud uh, of what you're doing rep in portugal but also kind of around the around europe around the world there's been lots and lots of support for you and this song and for you doing something authentic as well um you know in portuguese portugal always sends authentic yeah. <laughs> uh, authentic to eurovision and we yeah. love that but have you got a message for all of your fans that have been supporting you up to this point and all of the new fans who are going to vote for portugal yes, in the semi-final as vote. well uh, i just want to say thank you all for the love for the messages i'm trying to get to you all uh because i really 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 wanted to have time to meet you all uh so we could sing karaoke for hours with andy obviously uh and i'm super 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 grateful and super happy to be here so we uh, meet you meet you. i was about to say say portuguese brazilian meet you. uh so we meet each other on the 7th of may um to sing grito together yeah, and you can check out the, the performance nails as yeah, well next they're Tuesday. they're not going to be these ones, so check out on those. I'm going to be posting soon. I'm going to be posting soon. Ooh, and I'm going to say vote, 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 vote for yeah. Portugal, guys. We have to get this uh, beautiful lady through to the final because we want to see you on that Eurovision stage more than once. Yes. Yes. You're Yolanda. speaking the facts. Yeah, man. <laughs> Yolanda, thank you so much. Always a thank pleasure you. to talk to you. You're such a beautiful talent, a beautiful lady. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to catch up with you again. Thank you so much. Bye, and guys. Thank you for the nails.